So what kind of releases can happen when we have a, a, a release of a Gloth? Well, there's, there's two types. We could have a partial release or we can have a full release. A partial release is just as it sounds. It is when the glacier, the Gloth, is able to release part of the water and there's still water left in the basin. A full release is just like it sounds. It's when most of the water, or if not all of that water, is able to escape the basin and come on down into the lake. Both the 2023 event and 2024 event were full releases and had serious impacts on the Mendenhall River. So when a release begins, we, with the help of the River Forecast Center in Anchorage, make a forecast for the Mendenhall River. And here is a critical point. It is impossible to differentiate between a partial or full release before and during the event. There are current ongoing efforts to look into this, and maybe one day we'll be able to tell a type of release during the event, which would help determine the release amount and substantially help our forecast. So with that understanding, our forecast for the Mendenhall River will attempt to show from our current understanding a full release from Suicide Basin and its impacts on the river. So what goes into a full release forecast? Well, we know how much water the basin can hold with a good understanding, there's some uncertainty there. And we also know how the river and lake responds. The three uncertainties that we don't really understand is the water tunneling under the glacier? Is it going through the glacier? And what is the rate of drainage? How efficient can the water escape from the basin? These are critical to understanding the impacts on the lake and the river. And so given these uncertainties, our forecast will always go for a full release, and that's important to understand.